There you are. This will help. What is it? Something to settle your stomach and help clear your head. Thanks. Well, what time is it? Ten o'clock. Well, don't worry. I spoke to your mum last night and said you were stopping with us. And that's all I said. Thanks. But you've got to talk to them, Leanne. You've got to get yourself sorted out, haven't you? I know. But I just feel rotten at the moment. I was only going to think about it. All right, all right. Take your time. Do you want me to eat? Well, you know what I'd love if you've got it? Go on. Corn beef and mustard pickle, buddy. <laughs> I think we can manage that. Morning. Good morning. Do you want something to eat? Eh, no thanks. Just a cup of tea, please. Okay. She's all right. Your mum, isn't she? Yeah, everybody else's mum's always all right. It's when you have to live with them. I'm surprised you're still alive after last night. Thanks a lot. I mean, you're off your head, you are. Why did you go and drink a full bottle of gin? You know why? I mean, didn't they teach you anything about biology in school? You can't get rid of a baby by drinking a bottle of gin and then jumping up and down or whatever you were doing in that bathroom. Look, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, but Leanne, what are you going to do? I'm 16 in a few weeks. I go to the abortion clinic then and nobody needs to know. And they won't tell me when my dad was checked. Leanne, your taxi's here. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Dixon. Thanks for everything. Bye bye. Bye. See ya. She's got herself in a right mess, hasn't she? Yeah, terrible. I didn't think she was that thick. Hey, that's not a very nice thing to say about her. Yeah, I'm very surprised you're defending her. Well, I'm not exactly defending her. I just feel very sorry for her. What is she going to do? Wait until she's 16 and have an abortion. And she thinks it's as simple as that, does she? Well, she said that to him, tell me, was he? But it's something that poor girl has to live with for the rest of her life. Oh, so what are you saying? You think she should have the baby? No. There is no easy answer. It's not clear cut. The fact is, there's no right answer. But she should definitely talk to her parents. Point is, she shouldn't have been doing it in the first place. Yeah, well, she says it was the first time and, well, she felt under pressure to prove that she was grown up. God, times never really change. Was it that lad Paul that got into this mess? Oh, I don't know. She wouldn't tell us. But, eh, uh, she says that he doesn't want to know. Jackie, I want you to know that you can always talk to me about anything, all right? All right, Mum. Oh, come on. There's nothing here that we can't get sorted out. It's all right for you, Mum. It's not you that's pregnant. Yes, I know. But then I do understand the situation. Your Mum's right. You really want to help, Leanne? Yeah, but you haven't got a dad like his. He's terrible. Well, your Mum, then. She'll find it easier telling your dad if you can't. He'd batter her as well. <laughs> we all exaggerate about our parents battering us. But I don't think it's likely he'll batter you and your Mum. They'll be very worried when they eventually find out. Well, they won't be finding out, cos I'm getting an abortion. Leanne, this is all very... all very casual, talking about abortion as you're going to get a dress altered. Oh, so what else is she supposed to do? She shouldn't have even gone with Paul in the first place. Paul, the lad you met in Edinburgh? Well, I knew he was a divvy, that's why I ditched him. And I suppose he's disappeared off the scene now. As soon as he got what he wanted. You should have known that, Leanne. Oh, so you're turning against me now, are you? Oh, no one is, but Casey's right. <sighs> Looks a lot. It is all too late to talk about that. Yes, Leanne should have protected herself. But, Leanne, you can't use abortion as a form of contraception. No, but it might be one option for her if she talks to her parents. Well, there are other options. Oh, yes, which else? Well, having the baby with the support of her mum and dad, who will forgive talking to somebody in social services, adoption even if she can't manage to bring the baby up herself. Yeah, but those are your options. None of this talks about my life being ruined for one mistake at 15. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be like that, Leanne. There's no other way. I was stupid, but I don't want to pay the price for the rest of my life. If I have the abortion now, I'll have forgotten about it in a year or two. But maybe you won't forget about it. Maybe you'll have to carry the emotional scars with you for the rest of your life. Me, Mum, you make it sound worse. Jackie, this is serious. <sighs> Don't you think I know that? I know you think I'm only a kid and I'm too young to have a baby. But I just want this thing out of me as soon as I can. And I hate myself for it. But I know I've got to do it. I'm getting an abortion. What's up? 
I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, let's go, Mum. It's the best thing to do. Come on. Come on. Leanne, I'm not going till you let me in. But there's no one in. I'll wait then. But you can't. Leanne, I've lost sleep worrying about you. I'm very concerned for you. No, you're not. You just want to stop me from getting an abortion. My opinion's got nothing to do with any of this. I'm not here to stop you getting... getting an abortion. I just think you'll save yourself a lot of trouble if you tell your parents you're pregnant now. Leanne, I think my mum's right. What on earth are you doing now? I can't stay here for when my dad gets out. away and we'll walk out of here now but you've got to ring me in two hours time and tell me you're all right and if you don't I'll ring your parents and tell them you've come to harm here she is now what is one now just want a quick word Leanne yeah well I'm not telling my mum and dad and you know what'll happen if you do no one's gonna tell your mum and dad anything we just want you to know that if you're determined to we'll get rid of the baby I'm not getting rid of it I'm having an abortion well, if you're determined to have an abortion, well, we just want you to know that... Well, that we want you to have some proper care and attention. What? We want to help. With the arrangements and everything. But you were all ready to snitch on me five minutes ago. Only because we thought it was for the best. Oh, well, what do you think's for the best now? Well, whatever you decide you want to do. Look, I've made an appointment for you with a doctor I know. A lady doctor. She's really understanding. She'll talk you through what would happen. An appointment? Yeah, this afternoon. We'll go with you. Well, if that's if you what you want. I don't know. But if you're going to go through with this, you're going to have to talk to someone. She's lucky, this doctor, honest. Okay. So, shall we meet you after school? If you like. Come on. So, Leanne, how was it? She was dead nice. Told you. She just talked about everything with us, what had happened, who would have to see. She didn't make me feel bad about it. So are you still? Yeah. She's given me a day to go to the clinic now, though. If that's what you want. What I really want is not to be pregnant at all. Right. Well, you better head off home now. So you're not going to tell me mum and dad, are you? No. Oh, thanks. And thanks for everything as well. Bye. Cha. Oh, I'll get it. Mrs. Dixon. Oh, happy birthday, Leanne. Ta. Hey, did you get some good presents? Yeah, I got loads. I got them all here. And I got that for my mum and dad. Oh, very smart. Hey, you coming up? Yeah, I just want to have a word with your mum first. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll be a man. Right. Is everything all right? Yeah. I've been to clinic and um, they've given me a date. When? Next Wednesday. All right. Just want to get it all over and done with now. Are you sure? I am. I'm 16 now as well, and I've got every right to do what I want. 
Fair enough. Bought you these. What are they for? Not for all your help and for not telling me mum and dad. I don't know what I'd have done if they'd have found out. Thanks. It's no need to look so worried, you know. This time next week I won't be pregnant anymore, will I? Thanks. Can I stay for it? Uh, my dad hasn't left for work yet. Oh. Well, what if he sees me? Why aren't you at school? Because I want to come with you when you take your hands at the clinic. But Dee Dee's taking her. I'm just checking what time she'll need picking up. And anyway, love, that clinic's no place for you. Well, yeah, but she's my best mate. And she's dead scared about having the abortion. Well, she might feel better if I was there. <sighs> All right, Lynn. Didn't know you were coming round. Oh, er, uh, I wasn't. <laughs> just calling to see Dee Dee. See if she fancied a look around the shops later on. Oh, looks like I'm the one I'm working today, eh? You want to spend that kid to your school? Um, remember I told you about the free study time we got for the project? Of course, yeah, the uh, history thing. Yeah. Well, English you said, didn't you? Oh, what am I like, eh? My memory? English, <laughs> that's right. Uh, aren't you going to be late for work, Dad? I'm waiting for that. Can't go without my cup, or can I? Have you got time for a quick drink before I get off? Uh, well, I just want to see Dee Dee, see if we can fix up some shopping for later on. Uh, come back and see you off. Uh, yeah, and I just want to ask Jackie something. Morning, girls. Hiya. Hiya. Morning. Hello. Just about to leave for the clinic. Can't come with you. I've told her she shouldn't. Well, please let her come. I feel better. What happens if your dad sees you? Oh, well, I think I can keep him busy till you get off. And I'll be there to pick you up this afternoon, all right? If you're sure you still want to go through with this. I've no choice, have I? Right. Better be off, then. OK, well, I'll tell your dad you're still chatting to Jackie. Just mind he doesn't see you leave the way, or I'm going to have a lot of explaining to do. I'll be all right now, it's just through here. Are you sure you don't want us to come in with you? Look, if you've changed your mind, decided you don't want to go through with it, you only have to say, Leanne. I've no choice, have I? I've told you my dad would kill me if he knew. You're not the first girl my dad's known who's going to trouble. No, but it'd be the last as far as my dad's concerned. You don't know what he's like. Look, all right. I've got to say this once again. They don't call it a termination for nothing. That's what you'd be doing, putting an end to a life. I'm 16, Mrs Dixon. You're putting it to mine. All right. Now, don't worry. Casey and Lynn will come and pick you up and make sure you get home all right. I'm sorry you can't stay the night at ours tonight, but I'm doing all this behind Mr. Dixon's back. Oh, if anybody had told me I'd be doing this. Mrs. Dixon? Halfway home in the taxi, she went white as a sheet. We couldn't take it away as Mrs. Dixon. Our mum and dad had know something was wrong. I know you're worried about mum finding out, but, well, I hadn't the heart to just dump her at the end of her road. And I'm afraid ours is a full house. Don't worry about Ron. I'll think of something to say to him. You go upstairs and get into our Jackie's bed. Will you help her, Katie? I'll yeah. go up in a minute. It's Mrs. Dixon. Mm -hmm. She looks terrible. I think it's the anaesthetic that's knocked her for six. She just needs to sleep it off. I'll have to get her to ring her mum and dad until she's stopping over at hours. Do you think she's well enough to speak to them? Well, if it means not having to face her parents and explain the state she's in, yeah. Be all right. She'll be bunked up with our Jackie. <sighs> I wonder how often this happens, eh? Kid leaves home in the morning to go to school. Walks back in again at tea time, having had something as terrible as an abortion happen to her. Without her parents ever knowing. I can't believe I'm a part of all this. Well, we had no choice. The girl was ready to kill herself. Yeah, but was she? We hardly know anything about her. <sighs> we couldn't take that risk. No, we couldn't. But if Ron ever found out, I'd have a job explaining it to him. 